Hi, folks. This is Dr. Kat Trier from Happy Earth. Uh, 50 years ago today was the very first Earth Day. Uh, that was actually the brainchild of Senator Gaylord Nelson from Wisconsin. He wanted to um, shake the little Sarge in. So that's uh, talking about, and you know, this was a time people were reading, you know, Rachel Carson's Silent Spring, becoming more aware with smog, fire, and all that, and what the impacts were on the environment. Um, and uh, and and but that event really what it was about, you know, now people do Earth Day, they do river cleanup. The focus of that event 50 years ago, it was getting experts together um, or bringing them out to events throughout the country. There were millions of Americans who participated in this. I think I saw a stat, it was like one at that time, kind of an Thousands of these events throughout the country. Many of them are at universities. That people, um, but really, it was people from all walks of life um, uh, learning about what was going on and what they is essentially what we try to provide online. You don't know, so we are launching our first water summit event with our new platform uh, it is called COVID-19 health and obviously right now with uh, this terrible virus I think it's 95 percent of the country is under some sort of a stay-at-home order um and uh you know, this, this very suddenly we all got cut off in the world. We all had to stay home, find out what we could online from whatever sources we could find, um, connect however we could. People are starting to discover Zoom and, and, uh, and other ways of, of connect with each other. Um, and, it, and it's really, it's, it's not quite as easy as just setting up a Zoom call, right? So we want to do our part with the uh, COVID to start first with your home and health. It's a free public, uh, free online public engagement and empowerment event where for two days you're going to hear from top experts. And I've got a whole list on my board over there. I won't show you uh, the mess over there, but, but there's a whole list of names over there with um, people who are experts at like hydration, things like um, what happens, you know, with COVID due to boost your immune system, to um, uh, treat yourself at home until, you know, if, if you're not really the hospital. Um, we're going to hear from some medical experts, um, what is going on out in the hospital, if you, if you have um, people who are first responders or other nursing homes who are in hospitals who are in uh, the what's going on with the uh, water workforce um, and we want to toast the uh, water and wastewater workers um, without whom we could not be staying at home because it is, it is only because of them that we have water and sanitation in our home and and uh, and that actually is also another part of this event which is how we can manage our own home systems so that they are working properly and in a way that is healthy because if they are not maintained properly. Um, so we've got the, the DIY plumbing advice.com, Greg Chick. Um, we've got uh, Rob Zimmerman from Kohler. We've got Susan O'Grady from Xylem. We've got, we've got some great folks um, sharing some really great and, and actionable information, things that you can do um, yourself or call in a professional if needed, but, but, um, but really to understand your own home water systems and how you can create a healthy home, right? Um, 
because we don't have a lot of control over what's going on outside. Uh, and, and, you know, if there's one thing that COVID has taught is that um, ultimately we're all human beings. And it, it uh, COVID doesn't care what your what your title is, who you work for. Um, COVID doesn't care how much money you make. Uh, COVID doesn't care about all these things. It's, um, we're all human beings. We're all vulnerable. We're all currently in a very different situation than normal. Um, spending more time with family or alone. Um, 20% of the U.S. population is in a single person household. Um, so different ways of coping with the stress, different ways of coping with, um, of, of setting up good self care regimes and care for our families, um, as we're dealing with this situation and said, uh, caring for our homes and caring for our communities and, and understanding how the decisions we make, we don't have a lot of control of what's going on outside, but we do have some control over, uh, what we do within our homes and so uh, this will be um, an event to educate you to for, for education for engagement and empowerment it is one-third content of these uh, pre-recorded uh, interview sessions uh, all of them very educational free resource you know learning guides that you can follow along um, and uh, one third conversation. These are going to be the live Q and A sessions, and uh, you know questions and answers, discussion. Uh, we'll have folks from the audience sharing their own experiences, um, as well as uh, some giveaways and contests and watertainment. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, and one third community. So that's the uh, uh, private Facebook and LinkedIn groups that we are. Uh, going to have set up very soon to, uh, for everyone, you know, as soon as you register, you'll be able to get in there, introduce yourself, get to know who else is there and have some of that experience that, um, of connecting with other people that normally if we were at a live event would be part of the experience. So, um, hope you enjoy it. We have, uh, really enjoyed pulling it together. We've, we've heard some powerful stories from, from people on the front lines that we're going to be sharing with you. Uh, is now open at uh, watercitizen.org slash COVID home health. Watercitizen.org slash water COVID, C-O-V-I-D, home. And go ahead and sign up now. Uh, you'll see new listed as we, we just finalized the speaker list. So we haven't gotten all their pictures up and everything. But um, we'll have that up shortly. But you can go ahead and register now, and and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. So, thank you so much for your time, and happy Earth Day. We hope to see you on this Earth for a very long time. Take care of yourself. Stay home. Stay healthy. Stay here, and join us on the fourteenth and fifteenth. Take care.